Hey guys, this is Raya. Today I'm gonna do a tour of Josh and I's apartment. It is 289 square feet, so it's really little, and I'm just gonna talk about what it's like living in a small space, how we store stuff, what we had to get rid of, and just what it's like, so let's do it. So, just entered into uh, Josh and I's apartment. So, when you walk in through the door, this is what you'll see. This is our little seating area right here. This is our little kitchen table right there and our little pillows. So, if you go over to the left side of the room, we've got an art table right here. Uh, pretty tapestry on the wall. But yeah, it's got some leather creations I'm working on right now and just like different tools and supplies. And then underneath the table we've got uh, more tools and bins of leather. So I've just unpacked one of the art bins that was underneath the little art table right here. And if you guys are going to be living in a small space, I highly recommend to have bins like this. If you're crafty at all, it will save you so much space. So, We've got pencils and whatnot under here, and there's a smaller box underneath. Has string, leather dye, um, stuff for putting buttons on leather bracelets, just a world of things. I have some more uh, paints up inside here. We got masks, breathing masks, and uh, goggles for using my Dremel because all the dust kicks up the air. We have uh, materials and some leather scraps and then a bunch of paint so this has been super handy in organizing our space uh, our room is right through here this is the little tiny kitchen is right over there this is our one uh, closet one storage space this is our bathrooms right over there we keep all of our shoes by the door mostly it's my shoes uh, Josh has like a rack and a half and then by the door we also have a little thing for our keys and whatnot and like a to-do list type thing so going back to the main area yeah and then we've got a bit of a bookshelf right here all of our lovely plants these little guys are air filters so they're kind of nice to have in the house but yeah, this is what we use as our kitchen table. You can see, kind of compared to the size of my hand, it's pretty small. I would say like a foot and a half or two feet by a foot and a half. And then we just sit on these little pillows for eating. Uh, it's pretty cozy. So cozy. Okay, so I'm just walking into the kitchen. It kind of just floods from the living room to the kitchen. We got our fridge. Microwave, you can see a little bit of storage up there. And then here it is. So it's pretty tiny coming into it. Um, we have a smaller oven. Plenty of space in there for doing lots of good cooking now. We've got four burner stove, um, plenty of spices. We have some storage up here. We do like plates and cups and whatnot. So that's pretty handy. We don't have a lot of kitchen stuff. We did get rid of a bit. And then in here is just like dry foods. But as you can see, there's not really any drawers anywhere. Uh, underneath here, we keep supplements and some cleaning supplies. This, the sink's a good size for washing dishes, which is great. And we just keep all of our utensils in here. And then for silverware, we just put it in one of these mason jars because that's about the only place we can put it. Uh, we have hung mittens and apron over there. And then we have uh, teaspoons and a bottle opener. Keep some stuff on the window ledge. So this guy is our cutting table, I guess you could say. Um, it was my art table, so if you get really close, there's just like stain marks and stuff from paint, but this is great. We have a basket for all of our fruit. This is super handy. Keep our knives and coffee stuff up here. Coming down underneath, it looks a little chaotic, but we keep more cups and bowls. And then underneath we have trash can, compost, 
and for recycling we just use um, a bag and that's pretty handy but with the space that we have this is this is about the best that we can do and it works out really well our fridge is not super big but we fit a lot of stuff in there um, it's just me and Josh living here so we really don't need more space than that and there's plenty of room in the freezer but the other thing about the kitchen is that we have a little storage up top so we have some more pans um, again we don't have a ton of kitchen stuff but we kind of just make it work so obviously the kitchen did not come with this uh, table, my old art table. So we had to figure out what we were going to do when we first moved in because we are like, oh my gosh, there's nowhere to cut. I mean, we have no counter space as you guys saw. So um, this was perfect. It's the right height. As you can see, it's kind of um, to my belly. So it's perfect for cutting vegetables and it's big enough that we could both stand here, which is great. Although. We don't usually do that, but we could. Um, so it's worked perfectly. And the other great thing is, I don't know if you guys can see, the space between the uh, cutting table and then the stove is not very far. But I can just slip right in here, and I can be working at the stove, and then I can turn around and be right here at the cutting table. So that's worked out perfectly, and it's actually a really nice, small, cozy kitchen, but we like it. So next is the closet. It's kind of chaotic in here. Uh, this is the one <laughs> storage space that we have, so it is jam-packed. This thing takes up most of the space in here. It's not very big. And that's our keyboard case for, um, yeah, for our keyboard that's in our room. And there's not really anything else we can do with that. As you see, lots of jackets and stuff. That box is leaving soon, it's just temporary. And then this box right here is filled with some extra art supplies, so we just keep that under there, it's easier. Up here we got tools, this bag has climbing gear, so harnesses, chalk, that kind of stuff. And then that bag, or that uh, box back there has kind of keepsakes, so special stuff from my life, Josh's life, stuff we want to hold on to, and so we just keep it in there. As you guys can see with the closet, um, it's pretty packed, but when you're doing small living, you just kind of learn to condense everything and get it to fit really well in small spaces. So since this was our only storage, we had to get creative and get rid of some stuff. We also have a friend's house where we have extra tools and camping gear and all that jazz. So that's really nice and it's kind of a community space so other people can use that too. So coming into the bathroom, the bathroom is actually bigger than the kitchen. Hi. <laughs> it did so, as you can see, I did some painting on the mirror. And I did that. They're like pieces of paper. They're little um, photographs. So that one's just, and that one is a. And I painted a little vine, but yeah, this is our kitchen or our uh, <laughs> bathroom space. Not a lot of space on it, but it works. So we have this little table, um, just lots of essential oils, lotion, that kind of thing. We keep our broom and extra toilet paper back there. Got kind of a cool sign. Uh, garbage can just lives right there. This is the shower. I'm trying to get a good view of it for you guys. As you can see, it's pretty good size. Um, it comfortably fits one, even two people. Uh, I mean, there, there's still room if there's two. It's better. <laughs> it's better if there's one. But. And then we have under. So under the bathroom sink is kind of chaos right now. Um, but when it's clean, there is a pink bin underneath with smaller bags inside of it, and I have um, extras for like floss and I don't know different ointments and stuff like that under there. All the stuff that you need very rarely, but you're always really happy when you have it. So we keep that, we keep our linens in that little cupboard because that's the only place to put them. So it's a little bit cramped, we have like extra towels, pillowcases, sheets, all that kind of stuff. And then Josh's um, like shaver and hair stuff and my extras, so all this stuff kind of gets packed in under there. 
and it's pretty tight, but we make it work. Coming into our room now, here it is. Big cool tapestry, got our bed, huge wall of windows, which is amazing. And a keyboard, cool rug. And then this nice painting we did a while back. Yeah, so we've got our keyboard, this is kind of our music corner. We've got our keyboard, and then you can see back there we've got the guitar. Uh, and we also have, uh, down there, some headphones for playing in stealth mode on the keyboard if you want, although we never do. And then, right now my violin's out, but usually just keep it on the floor by the guitar, and that seems to work pretty well. Laptop kind of lives on the edge of the bed, or just right down there, kind of where the charger's at. This is my little corner. I keep my longboard in the room. Josh's longboard is out by the art table, but down under there I have makeup bag and random things that I, I use periodically, hair ties, that kind of stuff. Put some nails on the wall to do jewelry, and I got this cool hanging tree uh, for all my earrings. So this is really nice. The windowsills are fun in this apartment because we can kind of decorate them all pretty. Got engagement pictures and little notes and stuff. Street side. <laughs> so as far as clothes, go back behind the door here. This is what we use as a closet. It's just like a standalone thing. It was supposed to be an office supplies cupboard, but we turned it into a clothing rack. So yeah, you can kind of see. A lot of my clothes are hanging clothes, and so I had to install this guy by myself. You can see it's a little wonky, but I just got um, a dowel, and then you can see I put in screws on either side and it works, it works pretty well. Like it hasn't broken and I'm able to keep, uh, you can see like a fair amount of stuff in here, so that's nice. And then we just have these little shelves and a lot of my, all my sweaters are dirty right now, but I usually do sweaters and then pants and those are my shorts. I only have three pairs of shorts, uh, four pairs of jeans and I have a lot of stretchy, comfy pants but those are dirty right now. And then back here, this, this pile is my uh, tank top pile. It's a little messy right now, but uh, all of them fit right there perfectly. For my underwear and socks and that kind of thing, I use one of these little bins. Um, so I can turn it around. It's got a little handle on it, although it doesn't matter. It's from an old shelf of mine, and so these work perfectly. Josh kind of just throws his in with his other stuff. So because our room doesn't have a closet in it, uh, I wanted to make sure I got something that wasn't just a dresser because a lot of my stuff is really delicate and needs to be hung up. And so in, in our closet, as you could see over there, was just jam-packed, so there's no space in there. It's just lots of jackets. So I got this thing specifically so I could build my own little uh, closet and hanging contraption inside of it, so that works perfectly uh, for us. It's a bit small, but it works. And then up above, we have a few more blue bins, like the ones where I keep my socks and whatnot. And I usually keep belts, scarves, hats, like that kind of thing up there. This is our book library, right by our bed. As you can see, we've got quite a few of them. That corner right over there is more journals, and then yeah, just tons of good stuff. We're slowly making our way through. We chose not to have a shelf for this and just keep it on the ground, but we do have a shelf out in the kitchen living room area with more books. I would say one of the most important things about living in a small space is keeping it clean. I don't love cleaning, but I end up doing it a lot because it gets dirty really fast. We have a wool rug and it just sheds everywhere. Actually, I would recommend not having a wool rug if you live in a small space because the hairs just come off and they just get everywhere and create like these dust bunnies that hide in dark corners. So 
just a void wool rug. So we have gotten rid of a, a number of things, but it hasn't been hard, hasn't been stressful, hasn't felt like we're lacking anything. A lot of it is clothing. <laughs> that, was, that takes up a lot of space. And if you guys saw, like our closet isn't that big. It has, you know, we each have a few shelves that are like, eh, that, yeah, maybe like that wide. So um, I had a lot of clothes before and I've spent the last year getting rid of a huge portion of those. I have a lot of shoes still, but I kind of make that one work out. Um, yeah, as far as clothing, I've just slowly been going through. One of my things is color. I like color and I don't like black just because in Portland everyone wears black all day every day and it's gray outside already and it's dark already and I'm like dude we need some color in this world and so I've been getting rid of everything black that I own which uh, to be fair wasn't that much anyway but that frees up some space too and Josh has also been getting rid of stuff um, we used to keep a lot in our van which if you guys saw one of the last videos is no more. <laughs> it got smashed by a giant tree that fell in the forest just on top of the car. So luckily Josh wasn't in that, so I saw my husband. So I'm happy. <laughs> but we used to keep a lot of things in there. Uh, he had boxes of, I don't know, he had some like fancy shoes, some old shirts he didn't really wear. Uh, I think we had some games. We had a lot more books. Um, some uh, camping gear, pots and pans, that kind of stuff. So we stored what was in the van. A few of the things at our friend's house, they have some space, so we're doing like a community uh, camping stuff area. We have like three stoves, so we definitely don't need those and other people can use them. So that's really cool, but we don't have extra space here. And so there was a few things we kept that I kind of maneuvered into like the closet or main space areas, but for the most part, we just got rid of it. Like when we went to the the junkyard, I guess, to, to go see the van and get things out of it, we didn't take much. We took my box of keepsakes, which was in there and got smushed under the roof and it was like stuck and Josh was able to pull it out and I was so happy. As far as other things we've had to get rid of, really it just comes down to multiples of things. So if you have, you know, 20 cups or 20 pieces of silverware like there's only two of us so we have I think four spoons four knives four forks that kind of thing we don't have much extra um you know a few extra in case friends come over but we've got four plates we do have a lot of mugs we can get rid of some mugs still but uh, extra kitchen supplies it's just kind of got to go if you don't use it you don't need it um, there's not really room for it so you just end up getting rid of a lot of the fluff that you think you might use someday and honestly you really don't use it you really don't need it um, for example we don't have a tea kettle and that was I guess kind of strange at first because I always had one but we don't it doesn't matter we just boil water in a pot <laughs> it's so easy um, what else? We have, we don't have a coffee pot. We have a French press, which is smaller, more compact, and in my opinion, makes better coffee. It's stronger, it's really good. So we have that. Um, yeah, if some of the big kitchen stuff, like, uh, like mixers, we don't have one of those. I have made stuff where I would have appreciated one, but we didn't have one, so I just used, um, hand mixing and that's that's been fine you get like a nice arm workout for 15 minutes but uh yeah that's mostly the stuff that we've gotten rid of um you find out really quickly what you really need and what you really care about and then you make space for basically only those things place we will accumulate stuff to fill the space that we live in so when you have a smaller place you will have less and when you have less you have more room in your life for the people for the stuff that matters less distraction and it's really wonderful I would super encourage anybody to try it at least for a time of your life and who knows maybe you'll make it a life thing <laughs>